Hello guys, welcome back to Easy Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the isolated footing and the types of isolated footing. The isolated footing is also known as the spread footing. And it is the most simple type of the footing. It is a footing where it is used to take the load of a single column. For example, if I want to explain with the help of the figure, so let's consider this is any column and there is any load acting on the top of this column. It may be the beam load or the slab load. So when this column load is transferred to a footing, let's suppose this is footing. So such type of footing will provide the resistance to this upcoming load of the column and this footing will be called as the isolated footing or the spread footing. So it is basically the footing that is used to take the load of a single column. This is a vertical member and a column or maybe the pier or the pillar. So the footing that is used to take the load of a single column or pillar is known as the isolated footing or spread footing. And there are three main types of the isolated footing or the spread footing and the all types of the footing depends on the shape of the footing. For example, the most simple type of the isolated footing is the paid footing. If this is the column and this column load is taken by this footing and this footing are rectangular in shape. You can see here it is rectangular or it may be square in shape. So such type of footing will be called as the paid footing paid footing and this is a type of the isolated footing so this footing may be a rectangular in shape or may be square in dimension this will be called as the paid footing the other type the second type of the footing is is a footing where the column is taken by the slope footing If I draw it exactly, so it will be in this way. So in this case, the column load, if this is in the column load acting, so this column load is being taken by the slope footing. This portion of the footing is being sloped with the angle of 45. Similarly here, it will also make 45 degree. And such type of footing, isolated footing will be called is the slope footing because we provide some slope in this footing in order to take the load. And this type of the footing, the material used is always less than the paid footing. So it is economical type of the footing. The other type of the footing and the last type of isolated footing is the step footing in which if this is any column so this footing is divided into many steps so the larger portion will be at the bottom and then it is going to decrease in the shape so such type of footing will be called as the stepped footing because it is stepped in the shape if you look into that shape, so it is stepped here, you can see here it is like a staircase. So it is stepped, that's why it is known as the step footing. But the purpose is same that it takes the load of a single column. Like in the case of the paid footing, where it is responsible to take the load of a single column. Similarly, slope footing is also responsible to take the load of a single column. So in all these cases, the load will be taken the footing will always take the load of a single column or the pillar. So such type of footing will be called is the isolated footing but they have three main types depending on the shape of their footing. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.